Connor, that was such a strong start for your group in the first period. Then it seemed like the wheels kind of came off in the second period. What happened from your point of view in that second period? Well, I mean, they came out hard. And, you know, they uh, they probably weren't their best in the first. And, you know, we talked about that and knew they were going to come out and, and challenge. And, um, you know, we just didn't match it. So then, you know, it looks like you, know, like you said, the wheels fall. But, I mean, they play a big part in that, pushing the pace, and we just didn't handle it well. So, um, but, you know, fortunate, you know, we didn't, you know, we didn't have our A game, but fortunate to, you know, just grind out a win. And uh, you get the big goal there. Uh, what, from your perspective, happened there? It uh, was a bit of a messy situation in front there. How how did that play out from your point of view? Uh, we won a battle in the corner. Good play by Petey, um, you know, to get it up there. And then, uh, you know, kind of just beat my man off the wall. And I actually had an open netter when Burr passed that to me. It was an unbelievable pass right on my tape. And um, I just pushed it a little too far to the left. And fortunately, it came back to me because – wouldn't have been able to sleep well if I missed that one. So fortunately, I came back and just uh, was able to elevate. It. But good job by Pierce and Petey to just get to the net and uh, have a nice battle there. We'll take a couple more. We'll go first to Ian McIntyre, Sportsnet. What were the uh, emotions like in that game, Connor? It seemed a game of extremes. Um. Well, I mean, you try to be as even kill as possible, and uh, you know, we just. Obviously, at the end there, you're, you're trying to watch the clock and see what's going on. And, you know, you, we all we all kind of knew it was a goal right away. So, a little deflating. But, I mean, you know, we had a good talk right before overtime just to forget about it, refocus, and uh, try to get one. You know, we, we can't, you know, we can't let those two points slip, you know, especially, you know, what we have to do these last, you know, 30-so-odd games. So, uh, those are big points for us. And uh, that's a big-time goal there in overtime. Oh, uh, I, I, there's an obvious answer to this, but I'll ask it anyways. But just the position that you guys are in, how critical is it in these games where you don't have your A game? You said that you still find ways to manufacture wins. Well, that's what good teams do. You know, I mean, you play against uh, you know, some of the best teams in the league and they don't have their A game and they still find ways to beat you. And that's that's what makes them so good. So that's a good sign for us, but, uh, you know, we need our A game because, you know, we're playing a lot of division teams coming up. that are in the same position. Let's fight for playoffs. So it's not going to be many easy games. Going forward. We'll go next to Ben Kuzma post media. Yeah, just a quick follow on that uh, point, Connor, uh, you know, they say you never critique a win as much as you guys were looking like you might find a way to lose tonight. You found a way to win. It's been almost five weeks. Uh, since you strung together consecutive wins, I think January 8 in Philly and January 11 at home against Detroit. What does it mean to find a way through all the, the muck tonight at the end just to find a way? Because like you guys have been talking about endlessly here, you got to start stringing some wins together. Yeah, I mean, we know what, you know, the math is and how, how well we need to play towards the end of the year. And, um, you know, you just, like I said, you got to find ways to win games at this time of the year. And, um, you know, we're, like I said, we're playing a lot of good teams, but you know, we didn't have a eight game against Toronto, found a way to win, didn't have a eight game here, still found a way to win. So yeah, it's not a recipe for success, but uh, especially with this next team coming in in Anaheim, kind of in the same position. So but it's, it's nice for a wake-up call. we got to start playing a little better here, but, you know, if we're winning, you know, it's hard to, hard to be too upset. Thank you. Talk us through the rush chance uh, that uh, apparently went off Yuho's leg and also the, the pass – and, and what you saw unfold at the net front um, to Garland there in the third? Uh, in the first one, honestly, obviously, it was a lucky bounce. The guy falling over, um, seeing open ice, um, just try to get it on net, close the eyes, hope for the best. Um, <laughs> second one, uh, good DD pass. We had, I had lots of time up there, kind of seen Garley get low, and, you know, there's a big mess in the net, so I thought, you know, that'd be probably a better chance, and, you know, we were lucky enough to get that to go in. And, um, yeah, no, it, was, it was great. There's been a lot of talk about offense from defensemen, but for a player with your experience and path to the NHL, presumably I'd imagine that when you've had your opportunities in the league, your focus has been goal prevention, not, not necessarily contributing to the attack. Is no. it a sign perhaps of confidence or, or perhaps – that you've been used so frequently uh, that you're maybe able to take more chances? Is there more to your offensive game in your view uh, as you get more reps at this level? Um, I think so. I mean, you know, it's just more, like you said, it's just reps and getting more comfortable. And, you know, I don't like to force too many things. Like I know, I know my role on the team and, 
Um, but, you know, if a chance is there and, you know, I have that kind of in my arsenal and, um, you know, it doesn't come out every day or every other day, you know, once in a blue moon, it's fine for me. Um, but, you know, in any, any way to contribute to the team, it's, it, it's great. And, um, yeah, we'll take the two points. Okay, and we have uh, time for just one more for Kyle. We'll go next to Ben Kuzma, Post Media. You know, Kyle, you don't uh, shy away from the rough stuff. It looked like early in the game there on the sideboard collision with Beal that something may come up. But what happened on that play? And did you th think that if the game wasn't close that you guys uh, might have dropped the mitts at some point tonight? Um, I just seen an opportunity for a hit. Um, you know, that unfolds. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's tough. It's tough in that situation for me when there's three guys, um, you know, challenging me and I'm on the ground and, you know, there's obviously refs and our guys in between, and um, you know, there's a little bit boiling over, but, you know, I think, you know, maybe because something could have happened, but, you know, I was worried about winning a hockey game and playing and contributing, and, you know, if something happened, something happened, but, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, it is what it is, and uh, we'll take the result. Thank you. Bruce, the contrast between your start, which I'm sure you feel was excellent in the latter two periods, which uh, I'm sure you feel less warmly about. Uh, how do you explain the change in your game? What, what was um, the difference for your club? Geez, you know what? I, I, if I had an answer to that, I mean, we went from playing maybe our best first period of the year to uh, all of a sudden collapsing, knowing that they were going to uh, come out really hard in the second period. And it was just our lack of energy and composure in the second period that got to me and, uh, um, and then even in the third, I mean, uh, the one thing is we, we fought back to get the lead after they tied it up uh, on the power play. And then to, to give it up with a second is is pretty uh, upsetting. But I thought we reset ourselves and had the better of it in the overtime. And, you know, we ended up getting the two points. I don't know if we deserved it uh, with the last two periods, but we'll take it. And sometimes those are the games you need to get a jump start. Is there anything you can take, and, and you said sometimes those are the games you need to get a jump start, but is there anything you can take from picking up consecutive wins in games where perhaps your team hasn't been on top of their game? Well, I mean, it's uh, you're, you're picking them up is the one thing, and it wasn't where we had to rely on the goaltender as much today. I mean, we, we are always going to have faults in our game and nothing's going to be perfect, but, uh, you know, hopefully – uh, come Saturday that uh, we'll start to play a more complete game. I mean, if we could play the game that we played in the first period, we just got to play it for three periods. We'll move along next to Ben Kuzma, Post Media. Bruce Kyle Burroughs looked like he was going to get it in, get in early to, tonight with a, a big sideboard hit early in the game. Has an assist, uh, four hits, uh, three block shots. What about his game tonight? you got to love him. I mean, he comes in, he's playing the wrong side too. And uh, uh, he just competes. And that's the thing we ask everybody, just compete. And he, uh, every night in and night out, I mean, whether he's uh, exceptional or average or whatever, he competes every night out. And that's why he's in the lineup because you love those guys that compete, no matter what the score, no matter what the situation, Kyle Burroughs is going to compete. There's been such a buzz around Brock Besser, whether he's playing well or not. And as we approach the trade line, the trade deadline, Bruce, but his goal tonight, I mean, uh, Miller makes that great feed to him, but to have the patience to pick that top corner, this is what this guy can do right on, on, on any given night. And he's on quite a run with you here. That's what goal scorers do. I mean, sometimes they don't look like they're doing anything uh, and they might not be playing the greatest, but you give them that one chance and, and they put it in and that's uh uh, that's it's that's so difficult to do and that's why uh they're the stars because they can do those things and uh, uh brock is right up there i mean it was a fabulous play but i mean he still had to pick that top corner and get the puck away uh off his stick in a hurry and and he did so i mean um that's why those guys make the money <laughs> 